following 11 minutes of audio may or may not suck donkey nuts due to the fact that my microphone is schizophrenic. I do apologize for that, but anyway guys, I hope you enjoy the episode, and uh, let me know if you find out at what point this was recorded at. What's going on you guys? Welcome back to another episode of Minecraft. This time it's episode 99, one off, the big one double O, or 100 if you're not retarded and say, say numbers the correct way. But uh, yeah, I've been I've been a little bit busy with some some projects that are yet to be shown and probably won't be shown for for at least another episode. Let's just say that. Uh, but before we before we get into episode 100, we can't we can't forget little old 99. So I've been I've been playing around with with, uh, with my sheep farm over the last couple of Minecraft days and. I've been trying to stockpile a fair bit of blue wool for my project and I thought I'd bring you guys along for a bit of it and I'm almost finished uh, filling a certain little area that I'll probably get to show you guys as soon as we get over there. Let's set off some fireworks, why not? Oh my god. Is there anything more satisfying in the world than pixelated fucking fireworks? So anyway, we're moving on, moving on. We must grow some iron. Um, but yeah, I haven't actually... Oh my goodness. My iron supplies are like low as hell. Anyway, I haven't, I haven't exactly played a whole lot of Minecraft as of late. Um, been streaming a little bit of some custom maps because I haven't really had much to play. Um, I haven't actually played many custom maps for a while. And my Skyblock playthrough is currently airing. That isn't that so official. I'm currently releasing episodes of that, and there is a certain little dilemma we get to at a certain episode, but I'm not going to spoil it for those enjoying the series. And uh, speaking of that, I'd like to thank the guys who who took the time to to leave a nice comment or thumb that thumb those episodes up. I don't even know. Um, let me. It always lets me know if I'm doing something right when I see a bunch of thummy up. So a big Thank you to you guys who left that great feedback. Um, but my, my game's really lagging. I don't understand. And whilst... I guess we can... God damn it, computer. Like, make your decision now. Either crash or just give me a good frame rate. It's up to you, man. But whilst we waltz over to my to my sheepy farm... Um, I don't know if it was last episode, but... Recently I was ranting about how goddamn hot it is in Australia. And how many... How much of the bugs annoy the shit out of me. Um, but yesterday, this just got taken to a whole another level. This is this is the kind of stories I come up with when I'm when I'm home alone. Anyway, fucking eventful life march. Anyway, so it's about three in the morning, and we're about ready to go to bed. We go to close the window, and then fucking Andre the Giant's pet spider is just sitting there, just staring at me. Just what's up, bro? And what ended up happening is I sandwiched. Uh, Mr. Spider in between fly screen and window and there was no way that he was getting out outside the only way he was getting a, he was going to escape from that window was if it was going to go into my room so we opened the window and then this little shit kicker managed to go underneath my bed and I didn't sleep that night so that's my little spider story guys what do you reckon I don't know I think that will be my first and last, but anyway, we we made it over here alive. That fucking spiders, anyway. Spiders don't generally bother me, but when they're the size of your head, they they kind of get on your nerves. So what we've done here, we've made the sheeping pool a little bit more condensed. We've put we've put more of them into a single place. Some of them got out along the way, but that what's that's what's murders for. And um, I kind of went against God, they're so loud. I, I apologize if you can't actually hear me. I went against the idea of making this thing massive and just filling it up with crap loads of sheep uh, just for the sake of burning my game every time I came over here. Because uh, I quickly found out, I'll give you guys a bit of a demonstration on how this exactly works. We might have to just go blip because that is awfully annoying. I'll, I'll show you guys how quickly exactly we can get wool just doing this. And one little thing that I didn't God damn frame rate, I swear to goodness. Slap you in the face. Um, One thing I noticed very quickly with this amount of sheep is that you never run out of the fuckers to shear. So I kind of 
went against the idea of actually expanding as I said and we had our breeding to a standstill and we didn't do any more and I think we've got enough sheep here that it's going to supply as much wool as I need infinitely like there's no way in hell that I can even possibly remotely shear all these sheep at once and it can get to the point where there, there are a few bald ones and stuff and you kind of have to go out of your way to find some blue ones but when it all boils down to it you're going to have a crap load of it and you can always just AFK for a few minutes and the sheep are back and blue. They really don't take too long to actually regen. And as you can tell, we've already got almost four stacks of wool, which is ridiculous. Considering we've been doing this for a good solid 35 seconds. Um, so this is how I'm going to be gathering all my wood for my project. And I'm not too sure. This project's going to be in two parts. But I guess I'll, I'll show you the results of it next episode. Um, I'm not too sure. Uh, there's so many... So many uncertainties when it comes to this thing. And basically, I don't know, I don't want to pump it up too much because I I don't want to spoil you guys with knowledge and then make you wait. So it's just like a teaser, which for which I apologize for. Yeah, but there there's two ways. There's a few ways to get out of this place, but uh, the one that I'm more favorable towards is this little block of blue wool here. This fucking sheep everywhere. But uh, eventually you get out of the place you go back to first person. It's a lot easier in third person to shear um, shitloads of sheep. But um, if we just go bam. Nope. I swear I rehearsed this. Bam. We go down to my secret chesticles here. Uh, I've got a bit of gear here. I might actually pick this up. There's something I did want to test out. And as you can see, we've almost got a full double chest. Um, which is crazy. This has taken a crap load of time. Um, but eventually, yeah, we should be able to fill up this double chest pretty easily. And all of these ones behind here as well. So, I may have lied a little bit. We do have, um, we have a lot of wool, I'm not going to lie. Um, that's taken a long time, but it's going to be put to good use, guys. I don't know. I, I try to be sneaky. I don't even know if it comes across, but, um, bam, that's a shitload of blue wool. I don't even care what anyone else says. But anyway, as we... I better explain what we've got here. Um, as you may have know, uh, I've kind of got uh, this butthole burner sword here. And this is my substitute for my, my epic sword that I had that I couldn't name because it's too expensive. Uh, but I couldn't repair it because it was also too expensive. And I've got one last bastion, one last little hope, one last shred of aspiration to repair this thing. And it actually, this idea came to me. No, it didn't actually literally came to me, but um, I did notice something when I was trying to repair my bow and arrow, which I thought was fairly interesting. And I want to apply this to my my sword repairingness, and I'll give you guys a, a visual demo on what I'm on about, and stop talking crazy talk in a moment. Uh, but what we need is just a standard sword like this, um, because I did notice that the weak of the sword, um, the... the the lower the, the uh, enhancement cost is to repair items. And oh, once we get to our little mini house over here, I guess we can display that with a bow. I'm not too sure if we've got everything here, but hopefully we can get a our message across. Okay, so this is our epic as bow. It doesn't have a bunch of fives too. I, I don't really care. Uh, but if we wanted to um, do this, get it fully repaired, not going to happen. Uh, Anvil cracks the shit. But if we put something that is only slightly uh, got a bit of durability left, you'll notice that it's actually possible to do. And we've been we've been stupidly, well, not stupidly, but we've been trying to kind of, it'll probably work with this because it's fucking the butthole burner. Uh, but if we grab our epic sword here that took so long to get, if we do this and this, it's too expensive. But the theory behind what I want to do is what I want to do is uh, weaken this sword a little bit and hopefully, just hopefully, we might be able to actually repair our awesome sword. So I'm not too sure what exactly would be the best kind of way to blunt in a sword, if I'm totally honest. I, we, could, we could dig a bunch of dirt out, I imagine, but that'd be extremely boring. So I don't, I don't know, uh, we've got a few options, but... One of which that I thought may be interesting for an episode, just for just for a couple of minutes, why not? Um, I feel like taking down some pigmen. I don't know about you guys, but 
Pigmen are just pieces of shit that um, kind of just get in your way. Don't really serve any greater purpose than to just look ugly and drop crappy things. Um, so I guess it's time that we... Actually, we could even get some wither skulls while we're at it, but depending on the population of said wither, um, I guess it'll all depend. And what we actually... Guys, I think I'm just going to stroke a genius, but before we stroke our genius, if you know what I'm saying. Fuck, that's disgusting. Anyway, <laughs> we're going to try and take out a few pigmen, uh, see exactly how many hits it takes uh, with a unenchanted sword. Maybe a really dumb idea. Um, but we might actually even put this blaze farm to use. I have not used this thing much at all. Pretty stupid considering that it took many, many hours to actually make this thing. I really forgot I had it, if I'm totally honest. Uh, but anyway guys, I might actually do this, I might, I might actually AFK here and um, wait till this blaze thing picks up and then we may stroke our genius um, in a good amount of time, but as I said, this may take a little while for this little blaze spawner to pick up the pace, I think it may actually be broken, I think I broke this thing and I just gave up on it, um, but I'll rejoin you guys once we've got a few blaze to slaughter. Okay guys, so I went just listen back to the audio quality of what I've just done. <laughs> And turns out uh, my microphone levels were through the freaking roof. So if it was any like blah 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 kind of audio, I do apologize. Uh, I don't know why it reset itself, but it should be fine now. If it's not, I'm just as retarded as I was 10 seconds ago. But anyway, I've been waiting here for a little while. Why is that making make noise game? What are you what are you doing, son? Now, I don't even know if it's making too much or not. Oh my god, I'll never understand this game ever. Um, but we should have enough blaze here. And whoa, 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 whoa. Holy shit! Oh my god, that is fucking terrible. Nope, 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 no, 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 no. I probably should have blocked that off before fucking doing the- Oh my god. Holy shit, that was the dumbest thing I've done in a while. Here I am saying that I'm good with like audio and stuff and then bam. Oh my god, fuck these guys. So many blaze. Wow, that was really, really not the smartest thing ever. As I jump into fire. Wow. Alright, so I don't exactly want to deal with any of this because that's annoying as... What the... F oh my... That That is ridiculous. <laughs> There's probably so many more in there as well. They all just like got jammed in there in a giant blaze orgy and then they just got set free to ignite... Oh my... I hate this place. I think it's plan B. Plan B, which is stands for better. Plan A stands for asshole plan. So, I officially hate the nether yet again. I think I've documented that several times. Um, but that was, that was pure and utter failure. Nether, for fuck's sake, I'm not having a good day in this game. First of all, I record a 11 minutes of terrible microphone and then bam. All this stuff happens. It's just not a good day for recording, you guys. Um, but speaking of nothing related to the word of the day, I guess we'll, we'll announce the word of the day. Can be chicken soup. Yet again, two words back to back. Chicken and soup in the one comment. So, bam. There you go. There, There is the good luck. And actually, I was surprised to see who won the last word of the day. But, I, of course, we'll address that a little bit later on. Um, but... As I was saying, plan B, um, I used to have this skeleton farm, I still have it, I used to use the skeleton farm a lot more back in the day, back in the day when we didn't have an enderman farm, and what I'm going to use it for now is wearing down, chipping away at this diamond sword, I did notice, yet again, back in the day, that if I used any sort of sword or anything, it would get depreciated extremely quickly uh, if I slapped him. Uh, with with the tool because you're hitting them so quickly um, But yet again the same dilemma with the blaze farm um, We have to wait for them to pile up you guys So I shall be right back once we've got a couple hundred entities to slap the shit out of and it should be interesting I'm gonna munch my chook and I'll catch you guys later in a few seconds Okay, you guys so we're back and we now have about 140 skeletons give or take a few uh, to graceful, gracefully slaughter, and you may notice, is that a gold one? I don't even know if it's possible, I don't think it's actually possible to get a gold skeleton out of a spawner, which is unfortunate, but it does make sense. 
easily exploitable if it did happen. But we better get munching into these guys. And I can't exactly hear myself too well. Uh, but a few of you may have noticed that the, the intro, 10 seconds, was actually recorded prior to me recording this. And um, what we're going to do here with this diamond sword is actually serve two purposes. And you see, we're actually leveling up pretty quick. It's not bad for an XP farm once they're there. It's just getting them there in the first place is the annoying... I swear I see gold. Am I just seeing shit? I swear there's... There is definitely yellow there. I guess we'll soon find out if it's actually going to drop something or not. I I didn't actually think they, they dropped it. Yeah, but once we get all these levels, we're actually going to be able to use it uh, to potentially repair this sword. Which will be amazing because I didn't actually factor in the levels that I needed to use to actually put these two together. I think it's a little bit silly uh, that it actually does cost you a lot of levels. I, it, it, like, I could understand it costing resources and something along those lines, but I don't, I don't understand the theory behind levels being used, if that makes sense. I feel like levels should be used for the enchanting process. That makes sense, but at the same time, if you're just going to be repairing something, there's got to be something else. I don't think levels can be the only form of distributed currency that you can use to repair items. I think there needs to be something, some other kind of dynamic used if you're going to introduce a repair system. And who knows, even if they do release it in the future, they might even, I don't know, they could release even more updates uh, to use this said potential system in the future. Um, but yeah, anyway, we've got level 36 fairly quickly. We've knocked down about 30% of the overall hate or durability of the sword. I don't know why I consider it HP. I don't know. Just force a habit. Uh, but we're going to see if we can actually repair this now. I'll be surprised if we can, but obviously the more durability that's left in the sword, the better. Uh, it's going gonna, it's gonna to make it so we don't have to kind of do this process over and over again with weak swords. Um, and we're going to save levels. Uh, with the highest uh, kind of durability that we have left. Uh, but as you can see, still too expensive, which which isn't too bad because I, I understand that, that it's a pretty long shot uh, doing that in the first place. I'm going to put this sword away just in case I accidentally break it. Uh, I actually thought, I was under the impression that a skeleton just dropped that and I was about to flip my shit. Um, but, but no, but no, disappointment central uh, arriving. In, in my Minecraft Let's Play, and I actually got a, I got a comment yesterday, and, I, and they, they said that uh, this this Let's Play was the was the most amazing world that they've seen, and I I don't know if I'd agree, but I, I do I do thank you uh, for the comment. Um, I do forget who it's, who said it, but uh, I might actually discuss something that I've been wanting to discuss for a little while. I just really haven't had the chance to bring it up. And we're going to go blip because these guys are annoying. Uh, but we can, I guess we can uh, kill two birds with with one word at the same time. Uh, but what I wanted to do was introduce a, a kind of new series to my channel. Uh, something that uh, I haven't actually done before. And what kind of inspired this was a comment that I got from someone who kind of said that I my interaction, even though it was... It was, still, it was still up there, still still nice and good, but it wasn't up to the standards that I, I had at the very beginning, which is understandable because as this channel grows, the more people that are in contact with me and the more replies, etc., that I have to kind of flow out. Um, so it kind of makes it hard to kind of get in touch with every single one of you. So what I wanted to do was incorporate your questions into a series. Now, this isn't going to be like a a Mail Monday, a Twitter Tuesday, or a fucking Wipe Your Ass Wednesday. It's just going to be a kind of a series that once I accumulate a bunch of questions that I feel will be interesting, I'll put them over some Black Ops gameplay or any other game that you guys may enjoy that I have. Um, but essentially, it'll just be me answering questions that you guys have for me. Uh, I don't exactly want to say what the, what the questions can be about. Um, I'm going to obviously filter the ones. Um, I'm going to answer the first question you'll have with two inches. Um, yeah, you do the math. And yeah, so if you want to send me a message in my YouTube inbox uh, for this series idea, um, please, please, please put in the title that it is relevant to the video. So either put in, put in like question, just the word question, and then a brief description of your question, and I'll be sure to check it out. 
But anyway, guys, we're stuck in the dilemma of not having skeletons to kill. It's a skull! What? They do exist. Oh my goodness. I didn't actually know that happened. Anyway, we just got golden leggings. That's good. I guess this series is a good idea if we're getting golden leggings within 10 seconds of mentioning it. But uh, as I said, guys, I'm going to AFK a little bit here so we can weaken down our sword. But I'll rejoin you guys in a moment. Okay, so this time around we've got about 240 entities, 100 more than last time, and we actually have a another another golden boy, so this should be good. I don't know if we're going to actually get another piece of gold gear, and I'll be surprised to know if uh, in the first batch that we killed if there was actually gold or not. It, it seems like if there was, it would have stood out a lot more than it did, so I don't know. I don't know what the hell that yellow stuff was. Um, but I wish it was a more consistent drop rate. If you're if you're wearing a full suit of gold armor, you should drop that full suit of gold armor when you die. And even if they are like a one in a million kind of thing, I do think that it is a little bit silly that they've got something completely equipped, yet they don't drop it. But I guess it would be a little bit overpowered. You'd probably never run out of armor ever again. Um, but... As you see, while we hit level 42, the meaning of life has been achieved, and all I'm doing is hitting left click, so this game is pretty easy at this point, but it is kind of a pain in the butthole, I'm not going to lie, to press this over and over. Um, but I kind of just want to knock down the sword a little bit as I go along, and once I get it to about one third of its um, kind of durability, it will be the point where I feel like it's... Uh, I think it's about time that we go chuck it in the anvil, but I really want to kill this gold guy, I don't know why he's so hard to hit, I don't know, he's got the fattest pants, fattest legs in the whole lot of them, yet I can't hit him for shit, um, so I think once I kill golden boy here, I think we'll, there we go, what did we get, nothing it looks like, but we did get a golden an enchanted bow, awesome too, well, I did not know you could actually get second level kind of enchantments, and anyway, these dirt blocks here, I've never really met a door for that area. So that's why those dirt blocks are there, just in case something decided to patrol in and kind of take my life away. And whilst I was AFKing, it's really not good to AFK and be killed because by the time you get back and you're in a, a fistful of tears, you've kind of, all your stuff just despawned and there's no chance in hell that you're getting it back. Okay, so... For, for gosh darn reasons why, I don't know. Um, we put this sword away. It's going to be a little bit annoying, but here we go. Too expensive still. I'm going to try one more time. And if I can't if I can't get this sword repaired, I think I'm just going to have to lay it to rest. I'm going to have to bury it in a hill somewhere next to a dead dog or something because I don't, I don't think this sword is going to have any use for me once I know for a fact that I cannot repair it. Um, but then again, I guess if we re if we bury it, we can always dig it up again at a later date if a patch kind of allows us to repair it. But I might rejoin you guys once all these skeletons have gone. For those who are wondering how I had so many arrows and bones, that's why. This thing is absolutely amazing for this stuff. Um, as you can probably tell, if you download my map it at episode 100, you'll be able to see every single chest is just loaded. This is my favorite one. This is back in the day. Yet again, we say that, that catchy little cliche. Back in the good old days where bows were always 100% durability when they were dropped. And I managed to fill this up with uh, enchanted bows when Awesome 2 wasn't an option. But I get the feeling that this sword isn't exactly ripe for the pickings. But I'll give it one more go. And if not, I'll do some off-camera testing uh, before I end the episode just to kind of rule out any possibility but I am kind of bummed that it hasn't worked out. And if it doesn't work out completely, I don't think it'll make any sense. Um, but it is a little bit disappointing that it hasn't worked thus far. But as I said, I'll rejoin you guys once I've done a bit more testing for myself. Um, make sure I rule out all options before quitting. But I'll rejoin you guys once I've done a bit of research. Okay, so... Yeah, I've been knocking down the durability at the tree farm here. Knocking down the leaves, and of course... A goddamn spider is out my window. That just all makes sense. If this destroys my sword, I'm going to be a little bit pissed. But I feel like for the spider that went under the, the bed that I never had the chance to kill, I feel like 
he's not Ogre anymore, but I feel like this is an appropriate sort of kind of closure that I needed. It's a beautiful thing, really. But I think on that, that kind of sentimental weird note, I think it's about time that I got my little tush-tush over to the Sanctuary and credited our Word of the Day winner for episode 98. And holy mother of tits. We can... Oh, my... That's very expensive, but doable, guys. So, it is official. I can actually repair this sword at, at a supreme rate by the looks of things, unfortunately. Uh, but I guess that is light at, at the end of an extremely long, stinky tunnel that I don't really want to go down unless I get really desperate. It took me so long to get to level 40, eh? And I just get demolished for about 20% durability. Absolutely ridiculous. But I think it's about time... I know the man watching this is he's got a cheesy little grin on his face. He knows he knows what's happening. He knows what's about to go down. We're about to go to the sanctuary and put his fucking name on a sign. He is he's uh he's grinning from chin to chin, ear to ear, whatever you want to say. Uh but I think it, it's always an awkward swim up this thing. I always run out of words and have to like awkwardly pause and it's it's just a, it's just bad news all around. But anyway, guys, I still feel like castrating myself for, for the, the audio screw-up, so I do apologize for that again. But as I demolish my microphone in the shock mount, episode 98 went to none other than, than a little man by the name of Tootin Loki. Tootin fucking Loki. So congrats, man. And if you guys want to check out his channel, I think it's Tootin Loki 1. Uh, no space, it's just 210 Loki 1. Um, with a one at the end. He's actually a friend of mine that started recording Let's Play videos of his own. If you left a nice little comment for him, uh, I, would, I would love you long term. I would really appreciate it. Uh, but anyway, guys, good luck for episode 99's Word of the Day. Uh, it was released a bit earlier. If you've missed it, uh, I don't know. Chances are slim, guys. But anyway, I think that is episode 99 all wrapped up and ready to go. Upload to YouTube. And I guess I'll see you guys in episode 100. Hopefully you enjoyed this one. And uh, take care, guys.